What's up, y'all? I'm back. I know it's been a while, but I got to talk about Royce O'Neal, the new trade addition to the Phoenix Suns, and just his ability as a connector to really bring this team together and just be a stable contributor in the playoff rotation. Royce O'Neal, he might be on the smaller side, listed somewhere between 6'4 and 6'6. People can't really seem to agree on that. With a 6'9 wingspan and about 225, he plays a lot bigger than he's actually listed and really is a small forward slash power forward for this team who can contribute at a high level with his passing, shooting, and defense. Also rebounding, he just brings so many things that you want. He's just a very complete player for the Phoenix Suns and it's just a very, very solid addition to the playoff rotation who could really use someone who plays a lot bigger than he is and plays defense well is one of the biggest needs the Suns had. And although I think they still need a little bit more size with Royce O'Neal in here, um, Royce O'Neal, I mean, he's just got a lot of stuff to show off. We're going to start taking a look at his passing, then taking a look at his shooting and his defense. I mean, in this game against the Sacramento Kings, his best game so far, he guarded both, you know, De'Aaron Fox and DeMontis Sabonis down the stretch, switching between the two quite frequently and doing a great job on the defensive end. Uh, regardless of who he's guarding. I mean, DeMond is a bonus. Uh, both of them are pretty unstoppable, but Royce O'Neal stepped up and showed that he can be a key contributor in the playoffs. Anyways, uh, I'm, I am actually back this time. Um, some future videos I have planned, I'm going to be talking about Bull Bull. We're going to talk about Denny Avdia. And then we're maybe going to take a look at a few shorter videos, taking a look at the sleepers of the NCAA tournament. But yeah, if you want to see more of that type of content, maybe scroll down and hit the subscribe button. That would be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy content like this, where we look at film and actually like try to break it down a little bit, um, yeah, maybe hit that subscribe button. Maybe hit the like button if you're already subscribed. But let's get into it. Taking a look at some of Royce O'Neal's passing. Starting off this one uh, against the Kings. I mean, it's a pretty easy one. Just a little spacing, close out by Malik Monkey. Saw the long close out. Defender's a little bit late, rip and go. Eric Gordon gets a little step, kind of step to remove. Uh, that's kind of a Tyrese Halliburton assist. You know, guy makes a play on the ball. But uh, here we go. This is where Royce O'Neal is really going to shine as a passer, operating in the short roll. A lot of times teams are going to double Devin Booker up here, right here. It's Davion Mitchell and Domas coming up high on the double. And D-Book's going to hit Royce O'Neal on the short roll. These three defenders have to figure out how to guard four guys. No one's stepping up to Royce O'Neal. Uh, looks like Harrison Barnes right there. He's kind of glued to the corner with Kevin Durant out there. Spacing from three. Grayson Allen, I mean, De'Aaron Fox is just kind of out of position because Grayson Allen can't get the pass here. But Malik Monk has to come up high and Royce O'Neal makes the correct read, which is an oop up to Eric Gordon, man. That looks like some, you know, young Eric Gordon type highlights right there. But just that type of little, you know, react situation going downhill is where Royce O'Neal really shines. He's actually, uh, you know, I think he's like 91st percentile in the entire league of assists off of drives. Every time this man drives, he's, you know, looking to make the right pass. Although he's a little bit inefficient in the paints, as we'll see at the end of the video when we look at his shot chart, uh, he is, you know, a very good passer on the move and off the drive. And yeah, he assists on 15% uh, of his drives, which is, you know, ridiculously high for an NBA player. Anyways, here again, operating in the short role, Davion Mitchell, and uh, this big, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, it's it's Malik Monk, actually. Uh, this time, Alex Len comes into the into the paint. That's kind of Alex Len's job on this team. He's a rim protector. He's matched up against Josh Okoge. He's not known to be a three-point shooter. So he's just going to come towards the ball. It's not really Keegan Murray's responsibility. Keegan Murray's got to stay and guard this uh, this cut from this year little. And yeah, just Rice O'Neal kicks it out, makes the easy read to Josh Akogi. When it's playoff time, I'm not sure Josh Akogi's going to be that guy standing out there. It's probably going to be Grayson Allen or Eric Gordon or maybe even Bull Bull, someone who's going to knock down that three. And yeah, if Royce O'Neal is making that pass, the dude's going to hit the open shot. If, you know, Alex Len doesn't drop into the paints, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a lot different to think about playoff time because it's going to be different matchups, that sort of thing. Teams are not going to be guarding us that sort of way. way. But Royce O'Neal just making the basic reads and just right there, a little pass to assist. Sees the defense not quite respecting Eric Gordon the way he is. Uh, you know, he needs to be. Eric Gordon's great. Uh, but anyways, just a little hit ahead to Devin Booker as well. Just 
the ability to push the ball up the floor is really important. I think it's kind of missing sometimes. Just this ability to grab the loose ball off this Grayson Allen steal. Actually, I think the great this steal got attributed to Royce O'Neal. And uh, yeah, that means we'll see it later in the video. Royce O'Neal just has the confidence to bring the ball up the court, sees how the defense is showing. Devin Booker, there's no one out there guarding him. He's going to get the easy move to get right by and get to his mid-range shot in transition. Right here in this game against the Pistons, just easy cuts. Look at that. Uh, number five, I'm honestly not sure who that is. I'm going to be honest. I just don't know who that is. Number five is getting pulled into the paint. He's got to guard two guys in Saban Lee and Josh Akogi. And yeah, Royce O'Neal sees that this defender is now looking at Josh Akogi and hasn't really even realized Saban Lee is here. Defender takes a step towards Josh Akogi and it's too late. There's nothing he can do. And it's just too easy for Saban Lee to get to the rim. Royce O'Neal using that pump fake, man. That pump fake is huge when we talk about what Royce O'Neal does on the offensive end. He's got one of the best pump fakes in the league and it creates so much advantage for the Suns. Right here, he isn't, you know, pleased with the three-point shot. He's got a 6'7 defender in Kate Cunningham closing out to him. And he's just going to use that pump fake to get by and just see what type of play he can make off the dribble, whether he gets the rim or maybe even takes <laughs> maybe just a relocation three, whether it's a drive to an assist. Just this ability to read the floor using the pump fake to create an advantage. And yeah, I mean, just Cade Cunningham, that's a little bit of a scary closeout. And Cade Cunningham stays on the ground, so he can't relocate. So instead, he's going to drive. And on the drive, he sees Bull Bull is undefended. Hits Bull Bull. Bull Bull could have stayed out there for a three, but instead Bull Bull gets his own drive inside and hits that mid-range. Bull Bull is shooting 90% or like he's shooting like 86 or 90% in the in the paints right now, which is absurd. So anytime you can get a paint touch to Bull Bull, that is huge. So credit to Royce O'Neal to making that assist happen. Right here, Royce O'Neal using the shot fake again to get Cade Cunningham in the air, passes it inside to Saban Lee. Jalen Duran goes flying under the rim and there's no one to stop Saban Lee in the paints. Once again, beautiful play manipulation by Royce O'Neal. This type of passing is just a really like high level connecting skill to bring this Suns team together and just create an amazing, you know, just overall offense for the team. Oh yeah, and then there's that. Royce O'Neal just hitting a pull-up jumper off of a KD screen. Royce O'Neal operating as the ball handler, initiating the play, it's just a pick and roll to Kevin Durant. Harrison Barnes just doesn't step up on the shot and Royce O'Neal is going to pull up and knock it down. I mean, that's just a beautiful, you know, little thing to have in your offense. You know, if they're not going to respect Royce O'Neal, then, you know, he's going to take that three. Especially when you have guys like KD and Book who really like posting on those elbows. I mean, that play is going to be open if teams are dropping against Royce. And if teams are dropping against Royce, it even opens up the possibility for Kevin Durant to slip the screen and just to be wide open the paints because none of these guys are able to recover in time into the paint. And Royce O'Neal, as, as we've seen, is a capable enough passer to make a pass like that into the paints. But yeah, he just pulls up and knocks down the three. He's shooting 40% from three, and we're going to see quite a few more threes from him in these highlights right here. Right here, Book, again, the shot fake. Keegan Murray is closing out way too hard. He's completely flat-footed here. There's nothing Keegan Murray can do. Royce O'Neal gets right past him, turns his shoulders, dribbles baseline, and that's just going to be a wide-open dunk with Nurkic pulling off a little bit of a seal to uh, a little duck in to make sure that uh, the uh, Domas can't really jump into the play and try to block that shot. It's just too easy for Royce O'Neal. Credit to Nurkic kind of there with the uh, pseudo screen assist. Again, Royce O'Neal is just left open in the corner off the book double, and this time he knocks it down with the dagger against the Sacramento Kings. Huge three by him. Against the Pistons, he hit three threes, and I think that was every shot he made this game. Right there, just a late closeout, and knock it down. Um, right here, another play, Kevin Durant sucks in the defense. Evan Fournier is way too far in. Royce O'Neal's wide open, 40% three-point shooter from the corner is going to knock it down very easily. I mean, that corner three-point spacing, as we talked about earlier in the season, is huge for the Suns, and yeah, I mean... You know what else he's got? A little bit of a shot off movements as well, using that little Nurkic screen 
taking the handoff and knocking down the three those type of little mini actions that you can run with any personnel on the floor is huge even though you might you might have book you might have beal out there you might have uh, Kevin Durant out there if they're not going to be respecting Royce O'Neal or they're not switching everything and Royce O'Neal can just take advantage like that I mean he's got to be he has to have the confidence to shoot it and he's going to knock them down you know Royce O'Neal great three-point shooter shoots I think 36 or 37 percent above the break you know not from the corners and yeah he's going to like taking shots like this but just going ahead taking a look at some Royce O'Neal defense I mean just starting it off with a nice little block against the rookie big man, Trace Jackson Davis. Just completely smothered everything Trace Jackson Davis tried on that drive. Trace Jackson Davis has been playing amazing for a rookie, but Royce O'Neal says no, no, no. Just staying in the way, keeping him baseline, not really giving him a shot until that reverse layup where he is, you know, a step ahead and he's able to jump contest and actually get his hand on the ball for the block. And uh, it comes down with the ball. I think that was a jump ball. And uh, yeah, very nice defensive play from Royce O'Neal. He also is very good, you know, just positioning defensively. A lot of times he's in a great position to gather a loose ball, which we're going to see a whole lot in the next few clips. Just right here, sitting back, not letting the pass go through to Gary Payton. Just really just smart defense like this. Just making sure you're cutting off the pass, making sure it's a tougher drive for Podsy. And just take it away, hit it ahead, and let that offense start running here against the kings uh he just takes it away from alex len just having those quick hands to take it away when the ball's loose uh having both him and eric gordon out there is just like such a defensive duo they're just so quick with it they're just so uh they're very great at taking advantage of just loose um loose ball control and just yeah forcing turnovers just like that made that a really tough drive for malik monk with his defense and uh ends up tipping the ball away and even if he didn't tip the ball away i mean it's just, this tough defense is what made this a bad pass i mean he just stayed in front did not let anything get through and then tipped it with a finger or two and got it out for josh Akogi to initiate a new offensive possession for the suns right here guarding domas ends up taking it away does not let that entry pass go through great front against domas and just yeah i mean if he's doing this against bigs like this, this is such a, you know, huge skill for the Suns to have on their roster. Just front the post. Don't let the, don't let that go through our three quarters, sorry, three quarters and take it away uh, when it's a little bit of a sloppy pass because no one knows how to throw an entry pass and he just takes it away right here. That's basically a Grayson Allen seal, but just having, you know, having that foresight to go pick up the ball. And as we saw, Devin Booker goes and hits that mid range shot off of the Grayson Allen hustle. And yeah, there again, another just like steal. And maybe that's a block actually, but yeah, just quick hands, knowing where to be on the defensive end and just being in the paints is very useful. Right here, I mean, Duran, <laughs> Duran, man, you can't cook like that. When Royce O'Neal's around there in the paint, he's just going to take that away. You can't have, you can't just be locked into the rim and try to dribble the ball when you're that big. And right there, just good defensive pressure, sits in the passing lane and it's just a really easy steal for him. Here, I just like this play. He just sat on everything that De'Aaron Fox tried to do. De'Aaron Fox, I'm pretty sure he was the clutch player of the year last year, right? Like, this series has been dominating in the fourth quarter, and this time Royce O'Neal just says, I'm not buying anything. Stays in front and forces a tough contested jumper for De'Aaron Fox. And yeah, that's just really solid defense. Finally, just taking a look at some of these shooting numbers for Royce O'Neal, as I mentioned, 38, oh, actually 38% above the break three from out in these right regions out here, 40% from the corners over his last four seasons. It's listed here in the bottom. It's a little bit hard to see, but last four years in the league. Also, shout out Royce O'Neal for being just really consistent. This man is very healthy and is just always on the floor. He's played 70 games in nearly every year of his career, except his first season where he played 69. And he's definitely on pace to hit 70 again this season, as long as he stays healthy. So let's not jinx it. Hopefully, Royce O'Neal stays healthy and just continues to play at the same level. He's just such a great connector for the Suns. Does so many things right that benefits the other players on the court. When you have so many amazing scores and shooters out there, I mean, you got the big three of scores. You have some just amazing knockdown shooters like Eric Gordon and Grayson Allen. And you got some, you know, good length on the inside, bull bull. Um, maybe Drew Eubanks. I don't know if Drew Eubanks is a piece in the playoffs, but I think Bobo will be. And 
just these guys that Royce O'Neal is he he needs to be here to connect all these pieces you know we got like a bunch of ball handlers like Eric Gordon Devin Booker Bradley Beal Grace Allen but then you need those wings that can just connect everything together you know can do a little bit of passing a little bit of attacking off closeouts being able to knock down the three and play defense although he might not be that big guy that the suns really need to guard some of the longer players in uh the western conference like you know Kawhi leonard lebron james um you know royce o'neill is probably getting those assignments in the future probably is going to be starting against a lot of the tough teams the suns have remaining in their schedule Suns still kind of need more depth, uh, a little bit more size. I really think Otto Porter Jr. needs to be an acquisition, but that's another topic for another time, and we can just let the Suns, you know, see what they do in uh, the buyout market. But yeah, that about covers it with Royce O'Neal. You know, Royce O'Neal, I'm just really happy to see him on my team and looking forward to see more great things out of him. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed and you haven't already subscribed or hit the like button, maybe go do that right now if you suck, away or suck around all the ways until the end. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.